Hey everyone, welcome back to some more or less play Legacy of the Ancients. It's been like a week and a half. I've been kind of sick and I'm going to be coughing a little bit. Hopefully it won't be too distracting. I think I'm here to spend the Tourmaline coin. Turquoise coin, yep. We could spend the Sapphire and go through the one dungeon again. But uh, there's no real reason to do that. I don't think I don't believe you get any strength up, and we have, as you can see, we have tons of money already. So we don't, yeah, we don't really need to. Let's see here. Where am I going again? Jade, topaz, amethyst. We have one of everything. I'm pretty happy with my stats, so I don't really need to spend any of these coins. Let's go ahead and just spend the turquoise coin. That's going to be over in the loss exhibit. So oh, not quite this one. Sorry, I lost this place. So how's everyone doing this morning? It's been a pretty relaxing week. It's going to be raining all weekend here. I know you should never start talking about the weather, because that means you have nothing else to talk about. But it's going to... This will enable me to play video games all weekend, which means that I should hopefully defeat both this game, like I said, the Ancients, finally defeat Thief 2, which I think I'm at the last mission, or the second to last mission there, and probably System Shock 2. To the replay that I'm doing at the moment through it with the sec mod installed and I'm thinking of doing Planescape Torment next will be the new one. I also need to keep playing Dragon Age Origins. It's been a while since I played it, over a month now. I haven't forgotten it, I just uh, haven't, haven't been able to play it. Now I don't remember where this turquoise coin is located. That's a diamond coin. We'll be back for that one around here? We're going to peek around the corner here. I don't think it was down here. Yet, yeah, there's nothing in this direction. Yeah, I, s I swear they made the museums just like a maze, just so that you'd have to draw them on a piece of graph paper. <laughs> Lots of hallways without any exhibits on them. As you can see, I'm making all sorts of wrong turns and so on. I don't have the museum laid out, mostly because I didn't find it that confusing. Of course, watch me get lost all over the place in here. Ah, perfect. The Guardian. You haven't used this exhibit. Insert your turquoise coin? Yes. Legends say that thirteen great wizards once ruled Tarmalon, but that little of their power remains. Those who escaped death and treachery ultimately succumbed to the ravages of time. The wax figure before you is the wizard Arovin. His power largely gone, he is said to be imprisoned deep within Kelfor Castle. Only the password Guardians will open his door. Okay, now we know what to do. So we go back to the castle, all the way back up to the second floor, all the way to that one door that none of my keys would open, and we say guardians, and that should let us in to see him. Now there's an exit right around here somewhere, I want to say, or... Um, I'm lost a little. That's a sapphire exhibit. We don't need to go retake that again. I'm going to wander around in here just a little bit because I'm pretty sure there's an exit here somewhere. And I like to take that exit. This way, when we also re enter the museum, we'll start from here. Is this it? This is it. Okay, so now we can behold our climbing gear. And where are we going? Back to the castle. This shows up, swings and misses. Oh, one neural cloud. I have a super blade staff still. Two farmers. Hello, guys. Good morning to you. Well crafted bow and arrow. Sure. We'll take that. 265. Probably shoddy. It 
it's fair. That's not too bad. We paid 265 for it. We'll see how much we get when we go back to town. So we're going to go straight to Allenville. We can put some of our gold into the bank. Four bandits. Four dead bandits. Merchant Square. Yeah, we'll go to Merchant Square really quick. Might be better weapons in there. Hello, bandit. I imagine their heads flying off or body parts being <laughs> being flung off by the strength of the warhammer blows and landing on them. Poor poor bandits. Poor poor overworld creatures. Really only let's um that screaming creature from the mountains is even remotely difficult now. What have we got with whipping chains? A good lighted club. If I was to sell you my fair bow and arrow nice we sell it for a little bit of a profit. We might as well buy more food. We have so much money. Uh, I'll take 243. No, I don't need any more money. Oh, that's not true, but we should be fine. You are Blackjack. You're the armor store? Spells. We don't need any more spells. Thinking about it. Fair plated mail. What are we currently wearing? Good plated mail. And we don't need that merchant. Alright, so. We'll go west. Six of them. This way and south. Yes, yep, they're at the castles in this large lake here. So we're going to go around the lake, kind of, to reach Allenville. We'll put most of this cash into the bank because we won't need it. Wow, I can't believe how useful. Well, I mean, I, I've always known they're very useful, but. Oh no! I used a spell, didn't I? It never even occurred to me that I leave my boat on the other side of the uh, of the island. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have to buy a new boat. You can see how little damage you do without a dagger equipped when fighting creatures that are weak to a certain weapon. Okay, so we need a new boat. I don't remember where the boat shop is. Discount spells are not actually discounted. This is the jail? That's the jail. I seem to recall that in my other video on this game, I actually got imprisoned. I'm pretty sure I got imprisoned, unless I'm thinking of Black Silver. I thought it was this one, though. Oh, and we don't need to play flip flop. No reason to play flip-flop. To my left, that blue house is the training school for weapons. Here's the bank. Okay. So, why don't we deposit... I don't know... 10,355. Oh, wow! Well, that was lucky. I wasn't even looking at the screen. <laughs> uh, how is it lucky? I, I guess not really. 3,500, that's a nice sounding number. I'm glad that we can carry 644 days of food on our character as well. There's no such thing as weight in this game. Yes, I need a raft. Yes! Another sapphire coin. Slew and slay armor. Shoddy plated mail that is useless to us. And the weapon store? A superb knife. Alright, so let's go. 
Now, I don't know if they remember me. It hasn't been too long. Let's hold the magic seeds, and we'll step up and take a peek. They do not remember. Okay. So we can hold our magic ice. I guess it has been like a hundred days or so since we last showed up here. All the guards back in normal normal positions. Oh, then again, we snuck past most of these guards, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't fight our way out through the ground floor. And we won't be doing any fighting against the guards this time. We don't need to. We should have enough magic seeds to get through the entirety of the castle. And if I remember correctly, we went ahead and grabbed all the chests the last time that we were here. So there should be no reason for me to even lose my invisibility once I'm upstairs. We'll now hold our magic seeds. Private level. Let's we'll use them. Such a neat idea that they provide you with an easy way to circumvent doing this again. As it really is just that tedious is the wrong word, but it's there's no point. The guards, I think the last time I was here, they didn't even put a single point of damage on me because of my bow and arrow, and they definitely won't do so this time. We talked to the potion guy already, I think, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. My potion can help you, but for a price. Yeah, yep, I'm sure we did. It improved our strength and endurance. That's right, strength and endurance. I thought for some reason you had a choice. I thought he offered you a choice of dex or strength. I guess that's actually the other game. I'm surprised no one's tried to remake a game like this. This is this is fantastic. Oh, I've spent all my time playing any remakes of or any games similar to this one. Now, I don't know if we'll be visible once we speak to the wizard. I don't think so. And I've always gone with the idea that he actually can see me, and it's just the guards I can't, because, you know, he's, hey, he's a magical guy. Speak the password. There he is, everyone. My health declines. You are my last hope. Find the guardians of the scroll. Uh, they are in many towns, but talk only to those with a special secret mark. I have now put this magic mark on your forearm. Only guardians can see it. That's it. There is no leaving the castle, so we can't just immediately teleport out, so we'll have to sneak past all the guards again. <coughs> so who are these Guardians of the Scroll? Well, we know that a healer died in Big Rapids, so I'm going to go with the healers are who we need to talk to. Now in particular, there is a one healer you need to see. And that healer is the healer whose healing bed doesn't look like all of the other healers' healing beds. Most of the healers' healing beds look blue and pink, just like the walls that we see around us right here. But this one healers is just pure blue, and he's the hardest one to get to because he's not on the main continent. Thankfully, we ooh, sorry about that, Mr. Guard. Thankfully, we saved a topaz coin, so we will go all the way back over to Eagle's Hollow and visit him. And I think he's going to give us a, another coin, a ruby coin, and that will let us do the final dungeon. This is a good time as I need to get that dungeon done as well. Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll, get, we'll get all that done. And then the next session will be the final session. Goodbye, castle. No, we will not be back here. We're all done with this. Hey, and we're still not we're still not visible. Hold the magic ice. Use it. Still not visible. Awesome. Now, before.
before we do... I would really like to have a better weapon. But you know what? We are going to Eagle's Hollow. Eagle's Hollow has a decent chance to give us... to sell us better equipment. No matter what, I'm definitely going to want at least one more upper-level weapon, just in case Knuckles breaks my magic, uh, my bow and arrow. I don't think he will. And I'm pretty good at avoiding any of that nonsense. We did lose one weapon, didn't we? Our first time in inside the pirate's lair. Okay, so... Here we are. Okay, so we're going to take one of these boats out off the island. We won't be back here, but just in case I am incorrect about that. We can use a Seek spell. Oh! Water mutes the spell! I've never seen that before. Okay, did we actually use it? No, we did not. Okay. Wow, how about that? So you can't cast Seek spells when you're near the beach. I played this. Uh, last time I played this game was when I was. Well, sorry, I've been playing this game since I was 12. I've never seen that before. That's actually amazing to me. It's here I am, going to turn 40 in like another two weeks, and I'm still learning new things about the old games I used to play. Everyone, we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, everyone. So we have a topaz coin. Oh, doesn't it just figure? I started over here to save me time, and I'm not. And I'm not actually starting here. I need to go back to the original displays. Oh man. And this is not the correct way. No, that leads back to the turquoise coin. Okay, so we gotta go all the way back. This way. Alright, so let's think. So we're in excellent shape. We have a little bit of cash on us when we hit Eagle's Hollow. There's a bank there anyway, so we can always get more cash if we need it. We have 20 something thousand gold in the bank. We can buy anything and everything that we need. Spell wise, we've, we're set. I could buy an extra 8 Psycho Strengths, but I won't need that many. I'm not even going to need 32 for the final dungeon. We'll probably end up using something like 12 of them. I could use my amethyst key to increase my intelligence again, but given my like 50-50% odds of winning Stones of Wisdom, I had <laughs> and my shattered ego, since I used to think I was really good at that game, <laughs> I'm not so interested in um in making the attempt. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. I don't really want to play any of the other stat-increasing games. We don't need to rob any towns. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing I need to do. Okay, pirate treasure. Yes. No. Yes. The pirate slayer is located in a chain of islands called the Three Sisters. You will be transported to the largest island. From there, you're on your own. The Pirate Slayer has many levels. At the very bottom, it is said, was a priceless sapphire, which we already took. Doing that again, there will not be another sapphire coin at the very bottom. I do, either the chest is not there, or the chest is there, but yields nothing when you open it. Hello, Hugens. Sure. Another jade coin, awesome. And that is interesting, because I already had a jade coin. Ah, oh, wow. Man, I certainly love playing this game. Such a great job on everything in it. Hello, Hugo, another Hugin. Sure. You actually didn't try to smash me with your tree there. Shadow Wisp. Oh, a bunch of friendly people out here today. 
Sure. Wow, uh, it's, everyone realizes that the tourists come here, so they're, they're basically trying to sell everything. No reason to mug them, just sell them all the stuff. Captain's Shop Armor, what have you got? Great plated mail. And now we're going to sell off both of my good plated mails. I'm going to buy an, at least one more grate. The bank. Actually, let's withdraw uh, another, I don't know, 2,300. And we'll actually buy another great plated mail. You can only carry three on you at one time, and I want all three just in case we lose the armor while we're in the dungeon. Now we don't need a raft, and we don't need any climbing gear. We're not going to Pirate Slayer. Pirate Treasure Weapons, yar! Superb Warhammer, okay. So, we'll equip it and we'll sell our great one we'll also go, we're going to sell our bladed staff finally yep and now we're going to buy two more superb warhammers i am very paranoid about losing weapons in a dungeon we might have enough spells to see us through it if we lost all of our weapons, thanks to Knuckles. But I doubt it. But the odds of losing all your weapons to Knuckles is also pretty low. But you're the food store. We don't need food. It occurs to me I don't think I've bought in food in this store. I just, in this town, have I? Alright, everyone, here he is. Hello. Welcome to our secret society. The Guardians of the Scroll are devoted to keeping the Compendium out of evil hands. We need your help. There are four jewels at the bottom of a terrible dungeon. Only with these jewels can the Compendium be stopped. This ruby coin may let you in the dungeon to get the jewels. Good luck. Basically, the jewels act as a suppressor when used in very close proximity to the compendium. And it will... It will nullify its powers and keep it in check. Five farmers! Ah, that's a shame. Sorry. Man, if that had been an excellent bow, it would have been awesome. And that's the fourth friendly creature. It, of course, in the swamp will probably meet like a pulp crawler. Those things don't want to sell you anything. Oh no, okay. Wow, this is amazing to me. I like to keep the theme, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to avoid everything else if I can. Okay, we will speak with the Curator first, just to see if we gained the level. I don't think we did. <laughs> I've been avoiding speaking to him because... Oh, sure, well, well, I'll, I'll just mention it. Every time you speak to him, he informs you that another healer has been killed. <sighs> Langsburg is under attack. Rumor has it that the wizard's compendium is behind it all. You have done well since I last saw you. By my power as caretaker, your level is now six. Awesome. So now there's probably even better 
weapons and armor around. But we're going to do the dungeon. We have almost the best weapon anyway with the bow. Ah. Uh, do I want to do the dungeon with this equipment? I think we'll be fine. It will be tricky, but I don't want to spend another 30 minutes running around looking for better bows, better bow and arrow. We will be able to do this. can do this. Oh, let's also hold our healing herbs. I believe our maximum hit points are 1,600 now. Let's... We won't use anything yet, though. We won't need to. So an interesting thing about this final dungeon, it has treasure chests all out and through it, just like the no normal dungeons do. But we don't really need it, any of the treasure chests. Not particularly. I don't think they have anything special in them. It's not like we're going to find any coins that we need in this dungeon or anything of the sort. We could, arguably, just skip all the treasure chests and just make our way down to the dungeon depths and out again. That's probably what I should do. But we're not gonna. We're gonna go ahead and try to open up all the treasure chests anyway. Okay, one. Well, this is it. This is what we're here for. Four jewels. Okay, so before I do this, I like to put on some music. Because I was a backer. You guys are probably hearing that. <laughs> I was a backer for the Dark Raven soundscapes. And if I can find out where I put that stuff. Oh, isn't it like, can I put it? Here it is. And then I can get some music going. Let's see. Okay, so I think that will work. We'll, we'll give that a try. It might be cheesy. Worst case scenario, someone might be like, uh, this is my music, and st and stop you from playing it. it. It won't be music, it'll just be sound effects. I had that happen on my... Um, uh, a different video of mine. Actually, you know, with that in mind, we're not going to we're not going to do this. All right, let's just, let's just do this. This exhibit shows the gateway to Tarmalon's most dangerous dungeon. It largely, it is largely this exhibit which caused the intersection of the museum to be closed off to casual explorers. The museum has not charted this dungeon and has little knowledge of its contents. We know primarily that nobody has yet emerged alive. Would you like to go? Okay, everyone. Welcome to the Four Jewels Dungeon. We will start by using a Psycho Strength, as always. Uh, let's play the music anyway. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Now, when I was a kid, I was so freaked out by this dungeon that I would always play music while I was out doing this stuff all the time <laughs> on my on my boombox. <laughs> Keep myself from panicking too much. Uh, there's no real good way to go. We'll go this way first. I'm a little nervous that there's all sorts of traps not marked on my map. But we're going to assume it's correct at the moment. We're also going to go and get all of the treasure chests that we... Ow! That we can. Magic, other, fuddle. There's nothing down here, except for a treasure chest. 
whenever I was done with the four jewels, I always rebought all the spells that I, you know that you have, even though it's kind of not really required at all since you're not going to do another dungeon unless you know unless you're bored or something like that. Oh, he's awake. We should use a magic flame against every single creature I come across. We won't be using. Where am I? Uh oh. I th think I'm a little lost. Oh, I just I I got turned around. <laughs> oh, Knuckles, hello. Okay, I got turned around. That's what happened. I must have turned east accidentally. Alright, this is the direction I wanted to go in. There'll be a treasure chest here. Oh! No, I actually thought these things hit. Oh, I was about to say hit a lot harder than like 17 damage. Probably shouldn't be opening the treasure chests. It occurs to me that trapped chests are going to suck. Uh, we almost do as much damage as our flame uh, magic flames with our warhammer. A great bow and arrow. You know, I was just about to say as well that I didn't buy all the equipment I could because I might actually find a good weapon in here and there there you have it what miss another miss all right so we're gonna that sounds supposed to be wind <laughs> it doesn't sound like wind to me all right, so 273. There's another healing box we're gonna grab. It's gonna be in a small dead end, right around the corner, down here. And now we can go all the way down. Okay, the first way passage down. Okay, let me look up my map. Where am I? Okay. So we want to go this way. There's a treasure chest behind us. We're going to go grab it. <laughs> so, excuse me. Sorry about that. Still recovering from a nasty cold. How best to do this? That's a giant dead end. So we'll go this way first. We're gonna go straight across. Grab this chest now. Oh, Tendril Colony. I haven't seen these in a little bit. Oh, Tendril Snapper. Sorry about that. Streaker. Magic other. Oh, we need a psycho strength. Now we shouldn't go this way. There's nothing up here but a treasure chest and a healing item. But we're gonna go this way anyway. We're gonna leave the chest here, we'll be back for it. down here. I'm going to 
spin around. Alright, well, nice, we're at max hit points. That's basically the reason I came down there. I'm oh, sorry, I came down there, I went down in that direction. Oops, it's the wrong direction. So this dungeon, oh, give me fits. There's gonna be. Uh, let's equip our good bow and arrow here. I did leave actually quite a few other treasure chests up there. Now that I'm looking at my map, so sometimes I made mistakes, in which case I have little scribbles. <laughs> it's like this is actually a, a place you can go. Do I want to go back and get those three treasure chests? Yeah, let's go get them. So far, I haven't been threatened by anything in these dungeons. Oh, hello, Nasher Turtle. I totally saw you there. I was not looking at the map. <laughs> this will happen a lot, everyone. Oh, they seem to have... That's interesting. I thought they had a lot more hit points than that. I guess the creatures do have random amounts of hit points. Now, I don't have a pen and pencil in front of me. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a writing implement here. So, I hope... Oh no, no. I hope that I don't need to make any changes to my map. should have bought more Psycho Strengths. Now, you can of course leave the dungeon. You could of course say, no, I don't want to go in it. If you if you really wish to. You'll, But you need to do this dungeon, no matter what. I believe the merchants will begin selling you Ruby... Oh god, where the hell did you come from? Ruby Coins, if this is the case. That was like an ambush. I don't think creatures can move through walls. I think they I think they obey the same rules that you do. Only they don't have to they don't turn when they move. Okay, so that was all the treasure chests up there. Wow, so many knuckles are in here. Wow! I took that like a champ. For him. Okay, now we can finally go this way. Oops, let's actually kill the nerve streaker first. You actually do more damage with your bow and arrow than you do w with spells at long range. Back for that, that is the way down. We're gonna go straight all the way across for a healing item that I left up here. Uh oh. 
that I left up here, I mean that is up here. We're gonna cast a kill flash actually. 